You know, people can be a little bit oversensitive and I do not see anything wrong in what David Adeleke's first baby mama did, Sophia Momodu. And this prompted her to apologize. Before we get to the apology part of it, let us look at what caused all of this. We all know that um, David Adeleke lost his son, Ifai Adeleke. The death of the young boy is painful and tragic, so sad. He died, drowned, he drowned and died. A lot of um, accusations and counter accusations, in fact, Chef and the baby minder, all of them were dragged to the police station. David Adeleke recently clocked 30 and Sophia Momodu, who a lot of people say she should move on since David Adeleke under duress had to marry Choma Rollins, the mother of Ifanya Adeleke that passed away. Now, is that marriage going to be kept like a real marriage? Are they going to be living together as husband and wife? This trauma, this tragedy, is it going to bring both of them together? Because David Adelike has, um, you know, lots of baby mamas right, left and center, children here and there. Many of them are hoping that he will settle with them, but he's not settling down with them. Choma Roland, who has been on and off with him, people believe um, she's the right person, she should be the person with him. David Adelike is the only person who knows who he wants to be with or if he's never settling with anybody. Now, that being said, they have done this low-key traditional marriage. Probably because of what has happened, there is no celebration in that um, traditional uh, marriage. Is it introduction? Is it just something that had to be done for you know them to release the body according to Igbo tradition? Release the body of Ifai so um, David Adeleke can take ownership and bury his son. He did what he had to do. Would they stay together? Would that marriage remain honorable? Would both of them honor the marriage? That is a story for another day. Now, Sophia Momodu, who, like I said, and everyone knows is the first baby mama, definitely is not going to feel good that she and Davido are not together. She posted on David Adeleke's 30th birthday a picture of a fine and the rest of the children. In fact, the photo is David and three of his kids, Imade, Haley, and Ifai, who, like I said, sadly, drowned less than a month ago. And she wrote, Happy birthday, Daddy. I wish you peace, joy, and love. There was a time Sophia and David Adeleke had a time in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai, and uh, there are talks that um, they have nothing together or maybe they have something together or whatever it is. Both of them had their time over there and I was um, you know, kind of not worried about that because this is a guy that can go from one point to the other. So what is it that people are thinking is, um, you know, there's nothing spectacular about it anyway, but with the, you know, reactions from citizens on social media, net citizens, Sophia had to quickly apologize. And she wrote a post. She said, I realized that the earlier post may come across as insensitive and I sincerely apologize as that was not the intention. Maddie deeply loves her father and all her siblings and as a mother, I'm doing my best to guide her through the difficult emotion of grief from the loss of her brother whilst trying to celebrate her father's birthday. I ask for your consideration and hope that you all can be understanding through this times thank you um she knows that um, a lot of people will jump and 
begin to say a lot of things. Some are even saying you are indirectly mocking Chioma, but God is not man. This is how um, unfortunate people can see um, what is not there. And someone said the picture will torture Davido as is no longer his perfect reality. You won't understand because you are not in that situation. But regardless, I don't think Sophia means any harm. Come on, guys, what is the insensitivity here? Did we expect little Imadi to celebrate that death birthday with a picture of her and her siblings by blotting out the picture of her late brother? You see, you cannot satisfy certain kind of people. If the picture was blotted, if she had only put a picture of Imadi and um, David Adeleke, they would say, oh, so because if I is dead, that's why you decided human beings cannot be. You know, once they've taken, once they like someone, Choma, David Adeleke, to them is the perfect poster picture of a couple once they have that on their mind there is nothing else that matters they do not want to see other people's reality and that exactly is what it is what makes you think that uh, Sophia is happy she has gone through her own pains and rejection or whatever it is that could have happened I'm not saying necessarily that uh, oh David Adelike rejected her. It could be something in between both of them that we do not want to get into. So, reactions anyway, you know, uh, kind of tilt to the side of Chioma and David Adelike. And that is because of, uh, you know, marketing. And, you know, the way David Adelike presented Chioma, the whole story surrounding it, in, you know, assurance, the music and the videos and all of that, all of those worked in the minds, the psyche of a lot of people. If David Adelike had done the same to Sophia or any of his baby mamas, I want to believe that you all out there will have a different thought. That is why we need to think outside of the box. In fact, think deeper um, before you know talking about these things. Someone say it is insensitive period. Know that insensitive does not mean bad intentions. It merely means that she did not think it through in a sensible manner before posting it. I am 100% sure that she did not mean bad. A child that is not as is not as an adult, it cuts deep. That is why open caskets are almost never done for kids. I'm a doctor and there is nothing worse than a child's lifeless body. No, it, it never fully developed before it ended the journey. And, um, well, they say they bullied this lady till she apologized for doing no wrong. And that's what I believe. She could have posted a picture of David Adeleke alone wishing that happy birthday thing but don't forget that she too has her own pain so she tried to post all the three children that at least post the three children Eli, Made, Made being the first and if I you know the three of them and also remember that these children they always play together notwithstanding if they're from the friend mothers they, they they do come around each other to celebrate themselves but you know how it is they said oh why did you post the picture of Ifai uh, don't you know you will remember and he will feel pain on his birthday how can you ever erase that off from your mind, even if you see picture or not? Picture does not matter. David Adeleke will always know that he has lost a son and he will move on. He is probably going to get more other children and like that. That's just it. So as I don't see a problem with that picture, it is it even signifies if I is not forgotten. And that's another part. That's why I say you cannot satisfy people. Um picture posted showing that if I is not forgotten, you are still part of um your siblings and all of that. They say no, he, he, she is trying to be this and that. Come on, let's get off from this. So guys, what are your thoughts? Comment and do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so. That notification icon bell, please tap on it.